So here we are going to study in this particular section um, about checkpoint firewalls, the history about the checkpoint firewall, and the different product suites that it offers. Okay. So regarding the history of checkpoint firewall, if I tell you, um, so checkpoint is basically it's an American Israeli based uh, multinational company okay and it has different sort of you know product line that it offers so the different product line that i can tell you it can offer so basically it's an you know a uh, company which is an american israel based company okay and um, it has got products which is basically um, on two different schemes. It offers software products. It has got software-based solutions and it has also got a uh, hardware-based solution. So it has got a combined effort of a point company. It gives you product line on two different approaches. Okay. Um, regarding the you know product line, whether it is software or hardware, you know what it normally gives you are the different product line for IT security. So you can use those product for IT security, uh, which, which includes, you know, product line for your network security. Okay. Um, endpoint security. Cloud security. mobile and data security and also it gives you a different product line for you know security management security product line for management now a bit of history regarding this so checkpoint was initially it was established in um, in israel in the year um, 1993 Okay. And it was one of the oldest company with respect to, you know, it's uh, firewall technologies. Okay. Um, though you see that um, it has got a lot of uh, product suites in different, you know, areas. What we are interested is we're interested on this network security product line as per our CCSC course is considered. And in that network security product line, we'll talk about the next generation firewall. Right, and we'll see what are the different uh, model number it has, uh, what are the different you know types of um, interfaces or the capabilities that they can provide. All right, now over the many years, I mean, um, if I if I think about um, there are there are a lot of big names who have worked in Checkpoint, okay, initially, and they have left checkpoint and they started their own ventures uh one of the biggest personality that we all know it's nirzuk so nirzuk you can think like uh, he was an engineer in checkpoint firewall okay he was a developer uh, later um he moved out of checkpoint and then he um, established he is the cto and founder of you know the well-known um firewall of today's world in the entire world the number one product is palo alto so nirzuk is the you can say the cto and founder of palo alto firewall but this person this personality worked in checkpoint in the earlier days all right um, there are different you know um, personalities uh, like that who has worked in checkpoint okay and who has moved on to their own and own uh, ventures and own interventions and develop their own you know, uh, companies. One of them that I can tell you is Nitsu. All right. Now, regarding this uh, checkpoint family of products, I mean, if I just take you to <clears throat> to this particular um, outline. So let me just draw this. So as I've told you that the primary products what checkpoint offer you the primary products they are into network security okay uh, 
we have product like you know private and public cloud security it offers zero trust appliances or security based on zero trust you know environments um, it offers security solutions for remote access like vpn solutions remote access based security you know data security um security for um iot security for your threat cloud so threat cloud is basically it's a term that is used by checkpoint okay and um, it has got different you know um uh, security appliances or solutions for uh, application application based product line or it has got infrastructure based product line all right um you can think of you know uh, you know threat cloud application product line being like saas right so all those saas based appliances and saas based solutions in terms of securing the applications are part of your you know application security okay um there are other uh, tools as well i mean uh, i'll just take you to the website of checkpoint and you will understand you know uh, what are the different in outlines currently they have okay so let's go to the website once and see how they are currently noticed so if i just go to the website of checkpoint which is basically checkpoint.com and if i see the basically you know it's a it's, it's initial page you see quantum as a name right so you can see the name is quantum so quantum is just a uh, you know um, rebranded or a marketing name that is given by checkpoint all right and uh, if i just look into the products that they have currently so they have different you know uh, product line for quantum different product line for cloud based security different product line for you know how many uh, on horizon etc right you can view this product list from a to z over here okay you can see there are different types of you know product line what they offer based on the requirements right so what we are mostly interested in this particular um, course is is to learn the different firewall products right and when you have firewalls as a next generation firewall this is the different model numbers that you see over here right so 1530 1550 etc is listed over here and uh, one more thing is you know on those particular firewalls normally you install um, something called as features right for example dlp content awareness firewall features identity awareness features ips features sandboxing etc etc vpns right so these features are normally termed with the concept called as blades right we call that as a firewall software blades right so we'll see you know how those blade works and how to you know um, activate those blades according to our requirements all right now you can always go to this particular website we'll paste you the link over here so that you can actually you know visit this website and you know see uh, what are the different types of product line it is offering but our um, focus would be actually more into the firewalls so when you think about you know the firewalls right so uh, as i've told you our more um, focus is basically on the you know, next generation firewall of your checkpoint um, i will show the different model numbers as well but as a very very first level you should understand that those next generation firewall you know comes up with different features right so features being like you know the important features being like dlp that is called as data loss prevention or protection however you want to say um, any next generation firewall when you initially boot up i mean they will all have the basic firewall capabilities right for example configuring security policies uh, configuring zones configuring nat etc right so we'll all have those legacy firewall you know uh, policies uh, firewall features like configuring you know stateful based inspection right and um, features like identity awareness ips uh, vpn url filtering so if you want to allow your internal 
land users not to visit some anonymous websites. There are category based URL filtering that you can do. So all those features that is supported. I don't know if you have gone through Palo Alto or any other um, next generation firewall products. I mean, it's almost the same thing. So it also offers URL filtering capabilities. Okay. Antivirus, which is basically used for your you know, endpoint. Endpoint security or to detect, you know, any sort of malicious codes that is present on your uh, data or file that you are trying to upload or download. Um, next generation firewall of checkpoint provide the features of application awareness and application control. I can say application awareness and control. Okay, so basically they can do not only inspection based on layer three or layer four of your OSI model, but they can inspect layer seven traffic of the application as well and, and decode whether it's a legitimate traffic or not. Right. Those are the major features that you can think, you know, any next generation firewall will provide you. And yes, by the way, checkpoint is is providing all of them. Right. Um, now regarding, you know, uh, the the placement of the firewalls, I mean, um, what kind of, you know, components you get, right? So you get the components, which is basically, uh, there are multiple types, okay? You get the component, which is uh, in the physical form factor, right? So you've got physical components, okay? We can normally call as, you know, the appliances that you purchase from Checkpoint and you can, you know, uh, plug in, plug and uh, use it inside your racks as a physical appliances. You can also uh, get the product of Checkpoint and Generation Firewall uh, based on public cloud. So basically I can say it's a virtual firewall. You can also install and run virtual firewall, which is basically on public cloud, like AWS, Azure, Google, Alibaba, as an example I'm saying. Um, you can also have the same virtual private, I mean, virtual firewall appliances that you can also run on private clouds. Okay. Offerings for both. And um, it has features um, with cybersecurity management. So there are product line, which is specifically appliances that you can go for cybersecurity management. So <clears throat> that's it. I mean, this is what the basic idea you should actually have. All right. Now, as I've told you that, you know, the next generation firewall, this particular term, it is just, it's a, it's a generic term, but what the term that is used by checkpoint is called as um, security gateway. The term that is used by checkpoint, it is called as security gateway. Okay, so whenever you hear the term as firewall or security gateway with respect to checkpoint, it means the same thing. All right. Now, the idea of of having a checkpoint based security gateway um, is to is to provide you all kinds of you know security uh, applications. I mean, applications that can you know randomize your traffic and understand your traffic flow, and provide you application control, your IPS protection. You can integrate this uh, checkpoint security gateway with uh, with all of security events that happens inside your you know, organization. Uh, it comes in all in one appliance package, okay. And um, along with you know the security gateway, based on your requirements, you can install the different software blades, as I've told you. So software blades are like features that you want to use it uh, additional to your firewall features. For example, VPN features or might be IPS features. So you can activate those blades and it needs licensing as well. Uh, but the good thing is with eval license or with plug and play license of either 15 day or 30 day, I mean, you can use this, all the blades are free of cost. But after that period is over, you have to actually buy the license and use it specifically for uh, specific blades. All right. Now, um, you you get the power of, of centralized management with the checkpoint architecture, right? So you can actually have a three-tier architecture, uh, which I'll discuss in the next uh, content. So by doing a three-tier architecture, you can actually manage the firewalls, you know, as a central uh, way. So 
you have you have a concept of centralized management over here and i'll discuss that in a proper you know way in a more elaborative way in our next upcoming video so i can say as of now that your checkpoint solution are basically more focused into centralized management of you know, operations okay and you can also you know get the get the logs or the different tools that we have like smart view um, monitor and the smart view appliances uh, you know you can actually go and work with the different types of logging different types of reporting you know in a centralized level okay and i'll show that how it works so there are different you know deployment methods so it offers you flexible deployment methods you know which you can use it for your regular um in a physical environments or also for your virtual environments all right and um, it also finds its place in perimeter like on enterprise uh, edge devices and also on data centers okay we can also say software defined data centers sgdc so if you have a sgdc environment you know you can also uh, work with those checkpoint firewall as a virtual appliances and you know um, get the same uh, feeling and the same features like you're working with a physical appliance okay and uh, the most important thing is you know these firewalls provide you uh, two ways of trafficking i mean you can also do filtering uh, not only with north south but also with east west so i can see this symbol so you can see like this is north south you know this is east and west so your next generation firewall you know has the capability of doing the application filtering or the traffic filtering not only based on north south but also you know between east and west all right so i will talk about it what does it mean so basically when you take a firewall let me just clear the drawing a bit when i take a firewall here generic firewall not only checkpoint generic firewall and if i have some interfaces over here imagine that so this is just interface number one interface number two this is my lan this is my internet or say this is my uh, outside whatever name you want to give give it outside or wan okay now the thing is if my user sitting inside the lan okay my lan users have got some clients over here client one client two client three with their computers then they are sending the traffic the traffic is actually trying to exit the firewall to the out to the van port and try to reach let us say my isp and from the isp let us the traffic is trying to go to the world of internet now this kind of traffic pattern that we normally see it is called as you know north south traffic because say it is an http traffic http request is trying to go from the land to the van and there is http response that is coming from the other way around so this kind of traffic pattern is normally called as a north south traffic Right, not south traffic. So your checkpoint firewall has got the capability of filtering, you know, and and working on the north south traffic and understand, you know, what kind of applications has to be allowed, what has to be denied. Likewise, you have the similar approach. So if I place a firewall in my data center, all right, and let us say I have got some, you know, two interface over here. Same thing, port one, port two, as an example. I've got some clients behind the scene client one two three i've got some servers behind the scene server one two three okay if this clients and the servers are trying to communicate based on their whatever application traffic for example ftp so if the client one is sending an ftp request to upload or to download some files from this particular server this kind of traffic is basically you know, called as the east west traffic so not only your firewall are capable of doing north south filtering but also they are capable of doing east west type of filtering within your LAN environment, within your data center internal environment. Okay. This is one of the important thing as a very basic level you should know. All right. And uh, we'll talk about the different product line over here. Okay. Uh, so I will, I will go to the website of Checkpoint and we'll figure it out. You know, what are the different firewall products uh, it has? What are the different, you know, uh, features it has, right? So the features like, you know, NAT, um, you know, VPNs, IPS engine, application awareness, um, SSL decryption, URL filtering, um, stateful inspection. I mean, all those features are provided by your checkpoint firewall, okay?